Adam Ku Yinan is a Singaporean entrepreneur, author, trainer and a stocks and FX trader. Ku is the executive chairman and chief master trainer of Adam Ku Learning Technologies Group, one of Asia's largest private educational institutions, which runs educational seminars for over 80,000 people annually in seven countries. His business interests include advertising, corporate training and professional investing. In 2008, Ku was ranked among the top 25 richest Singaporeans under age 40 by the Executive Magazine. In the same year, he was conferred the Noose Business School Eminent Business Alumni Award. Ku is the director of seven other private companies. He was also a director of the Singapore Health Promotion Board from 2009 to 2010. He is a member of the Singapore chapter of the Young Presidents Organization, whose membership is available only to business owners below age 50, who run businesses with a minimum annual turnover of 9 million US dollars. Chapter 1, Background and Education Adam Ku Yinan was born on the 8th of April 1974, to Vince Ku and Betty L. Ku Kingsley. At age 8, Ku was expelled from St. Stephen's Primary School for misbehavior, partly due to poor academic results. His parents hunted for a primary school willing to accept him and finally found Njian Primary School. Due to his poor results at the primary school leaving examination, he did not qualify to enter any of the six secondary schools his parents had chosen. He eventually enrolled in a government school, Pingyi Secondary School, where he passed only five out of eight academic subjects and finished 156th out of 160 secondary one express stream students. Ku's parents and teachers described him back then as capable but lazy, indifferent and addicted to television. He described himself as being totally uninterested in learning, extremely unmotivated, physically weak and mentally lethargic. His stepsister was a straighter student in the gifted education program at Raffles Girls School while cousins from his close-knit extended family were from the best schools in Singapore. He had poor social skills, did not enjoy reading anything but comics and was addicted to arcade games and TV programs. He tried to join the scout movement, but was thrown out six months later for not passing the basic qualifying test, the scout standard, as he did not bother to try. Chapter 1 Section 1, Turning Point in Education In 1987, when Ku was 13, his parents enrolled their underachiever son for a five-day residential program at Lady Hill Hotel called Super Teen Camp. The man responsible for spotting Ku's gifted talent in Super Teen was Dr. Ernest Wong, founder, principal consultant and master teacher of Ernesco, the Center for Motivational Language Learning based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Dr. Wong's teaching tools incorporated and adapted an American-developed learning technology called neuro-linguistic programming, as well as whole-brain learning. This was the beginning of Ku's interest and journey in mastering motivational techniques, which formed the foundation of many of his books and seminars. Within three months of the program, Ku climbed to among the top 18 in his secondary school. He went on to rank among the top 10 in Pingyi Secondary within a year, topped his school in the GCEO level examinations with the lowest scoring aggregate, and was the first in Pingyi Secondary to qualify for the then top junior college in Singapore, Victoria Junior College. At Victoria Junior College, he was president of the Economics Society and scored three A's for his GCEA level examinations. He entered the Business Administration faculty at the National University of Singapore and continued his notable academic achievements by making it to the Dean's List every year, ranked among the top 1% of academic achievers and became a pioneer in the university's talent development program, the tertiary equivalent of the gifted education program for secondary schools. He graduated with an honors degree in Business Administration from Noose. Chapter 2, Career at age 15, Ku read books on Warren Buffett's investment techniques. While still in secondary school, he formed a mobile disco company with his friends, using his grandmother's house to recreate a disco and charged teenagers who attended a fee. At 16, 
he began investing most of his time and money to read and undergo training sessions in neuro-linguistic programming in the United States. At 17, he became a freelance motivational trainer by visiting schools in Singapore. After completing national service in the Republic of Singapore Air Force at age 21, Ku went into partnership with three friends from the National University of Singapore and registered an event management company, Create Soul Entertainment. The company organized hops, jams, and other entertainment activities for individuals, companies, and organizations. This was later re-registered as Event Gurus Private Limited, an event management company. At 23, Ku obtained his license in NLP in Seattle, Washington. At 24, he became a trainer at Super Teen, conducting courses for organizations like the Chinese Development Assistance Council, Association of Muslim Professionals, Nanyang Girls High School and the Universitas Pilita Harapan in Jakarta. At 25, Ku was coaching top insurance agents and marketing managers twice his age on how to boost sales. At this time, his father, Vince Ku, who owned the advertising agency Adcom, bought out all partners and offered the younger Ku the opportunity to run it. At 26, Ku earned his first million from giving motivational training at schools and companies, his entertainment company and investments in equities, unit trusts and property. Chapter 3 Portfolio Chapter 3 Section 1, Investments Inspired by the book Buffetology, he started dabbling in the stock market while in the army. As a conservative and long-term investor, Ku goes for investments with very low risk and high returns, favoring cash-rich companies with low debts and the potential to consistently increase their earnings. He prefers investing in stocks and options, using a variety of investing strategies including momentum, and value investing. Chapter 3 Section 2 – Property Ku's portfolio consists of property that he rents out. In 1998, he bought a condominium in East Coast for 480,000 Singapore dollars and rented it out for about 3,000 Singapore dollars. He sold it for 650,000 Singapore dollars in 2004. Other properties he owns include a house in East Coast and a condominium at Robertson Quay. Chapter 3 Section 3 Businesses Ku does not believe in taking on consumer debt and prefers starting businesses with zero capital, paying freelance fees or stocks in the beginning until profit is generated.